Welcome to his garage. What is this? It's absolutely fabulous. A Bentley from 1930 maybe. But not quite. It really looks like that and it's really built like that. But it is slightly more modern. Because if you want a car like this, well, who doesn't want a car like this? But they are somewhat expensive. Especially if it's an original car, then it's it's not something for someone that kind of works. That's just impossible. This is barely possible if you're employed. Maybe barely, and if you really go for it. Um, so this car is kind of a replica, but it's probably the most well-built replica I've ever seen. So the base of the car is indeed a Bentley, uh, but as far as I understand, the donor car or whatever you call it, is typically a Bentley from around 1950. This one is said to be 1949. So it was a saloon car, uh, but in those days, even well, in those days, it was for sure a frame built car. It had a Bentley uh, Rolls Royce straight six uh, from that era, of course. Um, so that's been kind of the donor car for this, but I mean, just look at it. <laughs> Look here, every detail, just how the footsteps are crossed, how they are it's absolutely fabulous. Every little detail, Brooklands, Brookland windscreens and this thing that folds up. Uh, I'm not sure if, if those cars have mirrors in those days, but still it looks really vintage. Um, yeah, front wheel brakes probably were standard on cars also in 1930, but of course this is slightly more modern, but not much. Uh, it's got leaf springs, of course. No, let me think now. I would think that an original car would have had leaf springs in the front also, but here it is, the springs from the 1949 car then. Um, but it has a adjustable friction damper, like in those days. And, well, just look at this. Um, under the bonnet, let's see here if I can this open. Also just look at the details here. So you can see here. Like this. If you come here and look a bit closer. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. go all right yeah it's I'm a bit careful so a Bentley straight eight that's a bit weird right so well initially then the car had a straight six but it is a bit more impressive with a straight eight of course and I would think that it is a to some degree easier to put this type of straight eight into the car instead of making the original engine restored or something like this like this because this is not really a Bentley engine it is a Rolls Royce engine and this type of engine were was they were built in thousands I would think in the 1940s during the Second World War and it's not really a car engine from that perspective as far as I understood this is more a uh, tank engine, <laughs> so it was m made for mainly military purpose. So I would think that the company that has made this thing, because this is not a, something that a private person has built, it's been built by a company called Racing Green Engineering in over in Wales, and and they are it's not just one or two guys; it's a big, relative terms, a big company of some almost forty persons, I think, that built these type of cars. If you if you want one, yeah you got the money then you you order one and i think it's easy for them to get hold of this straight eight engine from maybe surplus material somewhere and then they have i would guess have made a a new casting for the uh, valve cover for instance with bentley on it and i mean the spirit is perfect so four carburetors mm. and it's a cross flow engine and from what I've understood, it's fairly powerful. Also, it's like six and a half liters and 
somewhere close to 200 uh, horsepower, so it's it's quite something. Yes, it's a big car, but it's also a powerful engine. If we look around here, air inlet if, the, if your feet get warm. Um, it looks like there's an option to have the air lever on the outside. It sits just on the inside of this lid. Um, but this car has been built with the uh, gear lever on the inside. And this car is, as far as I've understood, it was built in 2007 or something like that, thereabout. And I think it was there, it was kind of in their infancy, like their number 12 or something that they built. So it's, um, it's in relative terms, old, <laughs> old car from racing um, green engineering. Um, and well, what else? Handbrake, so there's no door for the driver. You have to go in from the other side. Knock-off wheels, real steel wire spokes, uh, leaf springs with that are clad in leather somehow. And what was it? 135 or 136 liters of fuel here. Um, four pipes or lines to each car breather, but there's a little bit of cheating going on somewhere. They they are joined somewhere uh, further front. Um, a really massive fuel lid, if I could call it that. I think it's designed for um, quick pit stops at Le Mans in the end of the 20s or like 1930 something. So, mm, and well, this thing, a absolutely massive exhaust system. Um, I don't know if fishtail is the right word close to a whale tail I would say <laughs> so it's yeah really something on and again the interior is of course leather and really well executed I must say really nice now um, I've been promised to get a little ride in this thing so let's see how this <laughs> this machine works so let's see how this thing drives <clears throat> RPM seems to be the fairly stable takeover. It's quite a hard push on the throttle. There it goes. And the gear lever sits here on the inside then. All just like a modern car in a way. One, two, three, four, and reverse is over there. So let's see how, how this goes. <coughs> and I felt no risk of uh, stalling the engine as I took off. It's, it's easy to operate. Brake feel is also decent. It's okay. It's, um, well, I'm not pushing it in any way, but it's, it's not too bad. Shifting is really nice, it's fine, it has a really good mechanical feel to it. It's just that the lever is kind of short and sits very low and it's when you're in second gear it just about touches the seat. But uh, well, it's uh, something that you will get used to. Steering uh, in parking maneuvers is really heavy. But here out on the road it's, it's fine, it's light. Well fine, I shouldn't say fine. It has lots of play in it and it really gets, ah, uh, well, it's almost scary. 
but well, it's a bit old fashioned. Machine. This is really something. So I would say that's all from.